Welcome back to another episode of Onshape with Kilike. We're going to be placing drawing views, uh, specifically these for auxiliary, half section, full section, and detail with these parts in Onshape. So when you uh, open the document, you have the parts all in a folder. If you accidentally get into that, uh, you can go back to the main just by pressing the home button down here. So we're going to create a drawing. ANSI 8 inch is fine for these. And our first part will be the auxiliary view. So we're going to click on this and place the front view. One to one scale is fine. And we're going to project the top view. And right away you can see that this angled part is skewed. We can't properly locate the center. Um, and it's kind of foreshortened. So what we need is an alternate view to see that properly. So what we're going to do is press Escape and come up here and select Auxiliary View. And then select one of these slanted uh, surfaces or uh, edges here. Uh, then it lets us project in line. Don't worry about it being overlapping. We're going to fix that in a second here. Just click to place. And then what you can do is with your mouse hovering over that, right click and select Suppress Alignment with Parent. And that will let you move it to where you want it to be. And now you can see we can properly locate uh, the center mark for that hole. And we could dimension it if we need to. Uh, we still want to project the isometric. So let's get our projected view. Click on the front. And we're going to move up here and project the isometric. Press Escape. And then just drag it down so it doesn't overlap anything. And we're going to right click Show shaded view on that and then we want to show hidden lines on our front and top view okay all right now our next part create drawing and see eight inch and we're going to do our half section part and again place the front view one to two is okay and if we place the top or the right view um we don't kind of we don't see any internal geometry a quarter view would be better so let's move this up, and what we're going to do is the section view, and hover right over the center. See this? That vertical line is the splitting plane, and you could change it to a horizontal if you needed to by clicking these up here. We're going to do vertical, and then we want a quarter view, so we're actually going to come over here to the right, the edge, and project our right view. And notice it's a section view, so you get that it's cut away a portion of the material, and you can see the inside with these slash lines. That's a section view. Okay. And then we're going to project the isometric view, so click on Projected and come up here. And you can project it right there. And right click Show Shaded View on that. Okay. All right, so that's a half section. Now our full section going to insert the full section part. Okay, now this is a hollow box and it's got a circular feature inside. If we place the front view, press escape and right click and show hidden lines, we can see there's some hidden lines that some internal geometry that we'd like to see that we wouldn't get just from projecting the top or right views. So what we need to do is we're going to do a section view, but this is a full one. But very, even simpler, you just place where you want that slicing plane to be or cutting plane. Click and then move your mouse. And the arrows indicate which direction you're looking at it. So you sliced it, turned it, and now you're looking at the inside of the left. And there we go. We can see there is that uh, circular feature. Um, we can dimension how much that sticks out. We can also dimension the thickness of the walls here. Uh, and it's got the hidden lines shown. I, we can turn those off. All right, And then we could project um, an isometric if we needed to. All right, I'm going to do one more here, the detail view. Select the part under detail view. Once again, the front is fine. And notice that it's got this little, press escape, this little tiny detail down, very intricate. 
it would be very difficult to dimension unless we blew this thing way up, but then it would take up all our space. So we're going to select the detail view here. And it says we could outline it with a spline. We could outline it with a polygon. We're just going to outline it with a circle. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make sure I get over the center, and stretch out my circle so that it captures that uh, detail. And place that detail wherever you need to place it. Okay, There we have our detail view. We could adjust the scale. Uh, 1 to 1 doesn't seem big enough. So maybe we want to go to uh, 2 to 1 or even perhaps a 4 to 1. Yeah, that's going to be nicer. So 4 to 1 scale. And notice the scale note automatically adjusts. It's got the center mark on it. And now this is much easier to dimension. And that is it for placing these alternate views.